and welcome once again. The purpose of this chapter is to offer insight into healthcare settings and the healthcare team. This chapter emphasizes the specific roles of different care team members and function of the nursing assistant will be expected to perform. Nursing assistants are expected to behave in ethical and legal ways, which are specifically explained in this chapter. The student should be made aware of uh, the responsibilities regarding legal and ethical issues. Information about Health Information Portability and Accountability Act will be discussed in this chapter and should be emphasized. It's important that you understand that there are serious repercussions for breaches of confidentiality. It is also important to understand that nurse assistants are legally required to report suspected or observed abuse or neglect. In addition, students, you will learn that the residents for whom the, you care for have legal rights and they must respect rights every day from resident to resident. To begin, we'll be comparing a long-term care facility to other healthcare settings. So, to understand what is a long-term care facility. According to the Department of Aging and Disability Service in the state of Texas, a long-term care facility is that which provides care for residents 24 hours a day. Not only do they provide assistance with personal care and nursing duties, but also they provide skilled services, and we will discuss those in a bit. Long-term care facilities are have employees that are skilled providers, meaning they are professionals that were trained to perform certain skills, and that service is provided to the residents in the nursing home. Skilled care, such as nurses, registered nurses, licensed vocational nurses, or licensed practical nurses, as they are known in other states, are employees who have skills that are required to provide care for residents in a long-term care facility. Another example would be physical therapist, occupational therapist, speech therapist, and of course physicians. These are also professionals that are trained in certain skills to provide a service to long-term care residents. In addition, residents who live in a long-term care facility not only receive the personal care assistance or the nursing skill services, but they also can have terminal illness services. In long-term care facilities, you will find a variety of type of residents. They call residents because that is their home. Just like you belong to a residency in your address, residents or adults that live in a nursing home are referred to as residents. So you will find a different type of resident per facility. What leads a person to be admitted to a long-term care facility? There are many reasons. One of the most common reasons are those who have chronic problems. And what I mean by chronic problems, they have conditions that affect their daily functional ability. For example, if a resident has a condition such as arthritis, which impairs their ability to function independently and safely at home, then the resident may benefit from moving into an adult uh, long-term care facility where he is provided care on a daily basis, assisting with personal care. Not only that, but they are also assisted in management of their chronic condition. Because many times residents do not just have one condition, but they usually suffer more multiple conditions. Their diagnosis can vary, and many times they are multiple, as I've just mentioned. So the reason for them being in a facility may not usually be by choice, but because they need to be assisted on a daily basis, something that they might not have in their home on a regular basis. Now, some residents choose to remain in the home, and they may so, that is right, and they may benefit from a service called home health services. Now, a nursing assistant who decides to work for a business that provides services in the home is an employee of a home health agency. What is the role of a nursing assistant in this type of facility? Well, this is the patient's residence, their own home, and here they are provided the same personal care as they would in a long-term care facility, along with any other skilled services that they may require. Some older adults choose to live in an assisted living center. 
These are facilities who provide a room and board, but they also provide meals. Now, it's called assisted living because most of the people or residents that they live in facilities, they are usually more independent. They do not require assistance on a continuous or frequent basis. Some adults have still the ability to remain in the home setting and they choose to attend adult day services. Now, these services are provided for those that qualify for it based on their income. In the state of Texas, if the resident qualifies for Medicaid or assistance based on their financial status, can attend an adult day service. What they do in this type of facility is that they are provided with activities on a regular basis. Socialization is another part of adult day services. Meals, they are provided with two meals during the daytime. And in addition, they are also provided medical services, such as assistance with medical appointments or assistance with medication administration, such as insulin administration. Now, not all nurse assistants choose to work in this type of region facilities. Some may actually be leaning more towards an acute care center. An acute care center is a facility where urgent services are provided, for example, a hospital. A hospital has staff 24 hours a day who can provide this type of services that we just mentioned, plus the urgent care. The emergency room is an urgent care facility. Therefore, if you work in an acute care center, most likely you will be working in a hospital setting. Now, hospitals, in addition to being urgent care, they also provide other services attached usually to their own buildings. They provide what they call outpatient care services. What kind of services are provided in an outpatient care setting? Most of the time, these services are limited, but they can provide surgery care or called ambulatory surgical services. They provide a blood transfusions, laboratory services, etc. So a nurse assistant may work in an outpatient care center assisting nurses for those patients who come in for elective surgery and so on. Other services where a nursing assistant can uh, function is in a hospice setting. Now hospice sounds like it's a hospital, but it's not. Hospice is a service. Hospice services are provided to those who have a terminal illness. A terminal illness is a condition where the patient has a limited life to live. For example, somebody that has been diagnosed with cancer, which is a terminal illness. That means that the person is not expected to live their normal natural lifespan. Therefore, in a hospice service, the nurses and assistant can be of most help for those people that really need the help on their last days. Hospice services focusing on providing quality days, quality of life versus quantity of life. Therefore, residents or patients who subscribe to a hospice service can receive what they call palliative care or comfort care. A nursing assistant would be assisting that person with comfort care by providing personal care assistance repositioning, and of course, pain management. Another facility where nursing assistants find a versatile role is in the rehabilitation services. There is a position called rehabilitation technician. This is usually offered to nursing assistants who have demonstrated or shown interest in this type of care. Rehabilitation technicians assist residents who's had surgery maybe a hip replacement, a knee surgery, or they have maybe digressed or have lost their strength and need physical therapy or occupational therapy. So a rehab technician can actually assist residents recover from a position of illness to health, right? From disability to ability, as we'll discuss later in the chapter. So these are some of the settings that a nursing assistant can function in. So you will now make the choice to work in what facility you prefer to be in.